Ukraine and the world are celebrating 150 years since the birth of the magnificent Ukrainian poetess Lesya Ukrainka, born on February 25, 1871. The real name of the famous writer is Larisa Kosic. The whole family was incredibly creative. Her father, Petro Kosic, was a connoisseur of painting and art in general. Her mother, the writer Olga Dragomanova Kosic, worked under the pseudonym Olena Pchilka. And her brother, Lesi's uncle, Mikhail Drahoman, was a folklorist and a public figure. It was he whom Jon Larissa borrowed a pseudonym from, because her uncle always signed Ukrainitz, that means a Ukrainian man. Inspired by her relative, the girl at the age of 13 created her pseudonym, Lesi Ukrainka. Why Lesia? It is very simple. This name sounded a bit softer than her name Larissa. The girl had many nicknames at home. Her mother called her Larissa, Lesia, Zeya. It comes from the name of the con variety. And Michelosia, which was divided in two parts to call Lesia and her brother Mikhail at the same time. The variety had three sisters and one more brother. If Lesia lived now, she would definitely be called an indigo child. Being four years old, the girl learned to read, at five to play the piano, at the age of eight she began to write poems. Lesia had known seven languages – Ukrainian, Russian, Polish, French, German, English and Italian. She spoke French better than Russian. Despite the fact that Lesia had such significant achievements at such a young age, her mother, Olena Pchilka, considered her to be underdeveloped. Some people say that if she had not got sick, she could have become an outstanding pianist. Tuberculosis burst into her life at the age of nine. She could lie for months, having her leg and hands plastered. She often repeated the beat by her leg, and over time her aunt was surprised to notice that the girl was playing the piano with her foot. In addition, the girl had an exceptional ear and a wonderful voice. 220 folk melodies with her voice were recorded and saved till nowadays. The girl met her first love being very young. Lesia was 15 and Maxim Slavinsky was 18 when they translated Hein together. Later, he died in prison, tortured by Czechists. Lesia dedicated several poems to him. My heart burns, I stood and heard the spring, the dream of a summer night, I would like to become a son are among them. The second poet Slov was a friend in misfortune, a tuberculosis patient Sergei Merzhinsky, whom Lesia met when she was 26 and he was 27. The famous Your letters always smell of withered roses was written to him. Some people say that men didn't have such feelings as Lesia did. Departing to another world, Merzhinsky asked her to take care of another woman whom he really loved. At the age of 36, Lesia Ukrainka fell in love with Clement Kvitka, who was a music scholar and collector of folklore. Despite the fact that the poetess mother was against this union, the man proved the sincerity of his feelings over and over again, selling everything to treat his wife with the best foreign doctors in Egypt, Greece, Germany and Austria. Lesia Ukrainka introduced into the Ukrainian language such words as naprovesni, which means in spring, and promin, which is translated as array. The first one is considered to be the author's neologism, the second one is a scientific term. In the last years of her life, Lesia's eyes became extremely blue. 
interestingly, before that they were grey. Lester Greenk died on August 1, 1913 in Surami, the town in Georgia. Today, all living descendants of Lester Greenk live outside Ukraine, in Switzerland and USA. Clement Kvitka saved the recordings with the voice of his wife. We enjoy listening to them after a century and a half have passed. Surprisingly, Ivan Franco called the painful and fragile Lesa the only man in our literature. He also said, from the moment of Shevchenko's come on, get up, tear up Kaidane, Ukraine has not heard such a strong, hot and poetic word as of this week, sick girl. At her age, this is a genius woman. I saw intelligence and deep understanding of poetry, education and human life in her every word, said Mikhail Pavlik about her. The streets in Ivano-Frankivsk, Vinnytsa, Kharkiv, Lutsk, Simferopol, Lviv, Chernivtsi, Cherkasse, Odessa, Zhytomyr, Poltava, Kropovnitsky, Sumy, Dnipro and ten other cities of Ukraine are named in honor of Lesya Ukrainka. There are also four in Russia, two in Georgia, two in Belarus and one in Kazakhstan, named after our great poetess. Lesya theaters are located in Kyiv and Kamensky. There is also a university named after her in Lutsk and the Palace of Culture in Odessa. In addition to numerous monuments located in Ukraine, there are also some in Toronto, Canada, Moscow, Russia, and Tel Aviv, Georgia. Museums dedicated to her work in Kyiv, Novograd Volinsky, Kolodezne, in Volin, Yalta, as well as in the city of Surami, Georgia. The portrait of Lesy Ukrainka is placed on a 200 Grivnia banknote. A number of postage stamps have been designed in her honor. In 1971, by the decision of the International Organization UNESCO, Lesy Ukrainka's birthday was celebrated all over the world. This year we have the opportunity to celebrate the 150th anniversary of one of the greatest writers of Ukraine. Mm-hmm. <laughs>